Well, welcome back, everybody. We're here with a special edition Ian Russell interview with a very longtime friend of mine and another elusive creature that doesn't get into the gallery very often, and that's Rick Fitch. He and his wife have uh, been doing functional pottery now for oh over thirty years. Now. I was going to say at least that long because yeah. I mean, we were into it quite a while. About when I first five years, something like that. Too yeah. long. Yeah, and we just kind of uh, figured out our relationship started probably back in around '98 in my very first gallery, a loft gallery. That's about right. And uh, man, you brought a lot of people, tons of joy. It's one of the probably the most collected works in the gallery we definitely sell 100 to 200 pieces of their you know functional pottery every month and people love it we use it for all of our displays i've used it with friends for functions uh anybody who's been in the gallery more than likely has seen the beautiful big display of rick and margaret's uh work so um, tell me a bit about your background. Were you always a potter or what was your real background Actually, before you became an artist? Well, you know, when I, was, I went to ASU and I started out as an art major and I found that I always hated to see people struggle at what they were doing, trying to make something, and at the same time enjoyed telling them or at least helping them a little bit of how they could do it a little bit better. So I wound up with a teaching degree, taught high, art in high school for just a few years and then decided, you know, I think it's time to have a little more fun. So I decided to launch off and do pottery. And like I say, that was 30 plus years ago. Wow. And I've never looked back. So are you an Arizona native? I mean, are you born from here? I am born and raised here. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Well, so once you got into doing pottery, was it always the goal to, to produce functional pottery? Or were it you was. doing like big vases? It and... was. You know, I, I've worked with decorators before and have done great big, large custom pieces. Um, I have found that my biggest joy is just making functional pieces that are food oriented, casseroles, teapots, bowls, that sort of thing. Um, I find a bigger challenge in making something that's functional, but yet decorative. And my idea has always been, I always say, art for the everyday. I've, I would like to think that's pretty enough, that when you take it home, you're going to set it up on the shelf or out on the table. And, but if you want to serve it tonight, you can take it out, mix your food in there, bake it in the oven, oven to tableware, so. It's really amazing work, and it, it is so unique to have such a huge array of things. I mean, chip and dips, uh, I mean, we've had a full plate serving sets. Uh, you, you, you name it, you really do build it, and for two people to do sure. the amount of work yeah. that you guys do, um, it blows me away, you guys. Uh, well, you know, we've always approached it as, it's a living. Right. We've been doing this full time, like I say, for over 30 years and you, you, you go to work every day, and yeah. you're there from nine to five, and we try to do the same thing, except usually it's longer than five. Right. You know, you get kilns that run along, you're there to nine, or right. whatever it is. But still, yeah, my, my dad was an artist. He was a painter and, and something of a furniture maker. So I remember he always used to tell me, if you're gonna do the same old thing, don't bother, because there's lots of the same old thing out there. Uh -huh. So I've always tried to shoot for something a little bit different, like I say, a little bit of eye catching. We can use it for display, turn around, make dinner in it tonight. Um, and that, and I also have a, I guess it's, it's either a bad or a good habit, depending on how you look at it. When I'm making something, if I'm at the wheel and I'm making a bowl, I think, how can I make this bowl different the next time? Right. So I'm always trying, well, as I'm working, like I say, I'm always trying to think about how can I do this a little more creative? So, and I think that's part of the, uh, where we get such a great scale of, of work. Right, and, and a return customer following because people That's are right. always coming in looking for new things. Oh, I mean, people are always asking, what's yeah. new, what's new? So yep. I, we kind of push ourselves. We have to have a couple of new items every year. Which is, I mean, it is really amazing because literally, like I said, I think I go to Phoenix every month. I pick up mm -hmm. work from you. We do special orders. You can pretty much get any of the pieces available in any of the glazes. He's got sure. four different glazes. We'll go downstairs here in a little bit and have a look at, uh, of course, the display and, and give you an idea of what we're talking about here. Um, so one of the other questions I had was, Mar was Margaret your wife an artist or did you bring her into this? <laughs> I, I, I dragged her down to my level. You dragged her down to your um, level. She was actually a registered nurse at one of the local wow. hospitals. And they did a big turnover uh, and a different way of thinking at the hospital. And she wasn't sure if she was gonna keep her job or if they're gonna give her something different. And at the same time, um, I had decided, you know, I think I had enough teaching. Yeah. So I said, why don't you take a year off and help me get the pottery business going? 
and then you can go back to nurse. And she said, okay. And I, but I pulled some strings and she's still here. Yeah. So. Well, I'll tell you what, it's awesome to have a great right hand person. And, and you know, she's, she's real good. She has a good eye for it too. She, a lot of times she goes, you know, I don't like this. You need to switch that around. Or I had a good idea for a nice serving piece. She bakes a lot. She enjoys serving, having friends and, and family over for dinner. That's cool. So she's always thinking about what would be a nice serving pan. So she's been a good right arm for me. Nice. It's always great yeah. to have a good yeah. use in the family. That's, That's for sure. Right. Sure helps. <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, I think it's been a great little interview, and I hope everybody got a little taste of what Rick does. We'll go downstairs now, and we'll have a look at the actual display sure. and give you an idea of what we're talking about here. And uh, we'll be back in one second. Bink. One. Okay, so it's Rick Fitch once again. Brought you downstairs, give you an idea of what the work actually looks like. It's all functional work, safe to use in ovens, microwaves, dishwasher safe, food safe, of course. It's here at Ian's, um, seven days a week, 10 to five. We always keep them stocked up. They always uh, seem to want more and more, and it always seems to disappear real nice and fast for them. So um, this is what she looks like. I hope you'll find, come on down and visit Ian and his uh, crew down here. Hope you'll find something. It's a beautiful gallery.